Hi there and welcome to Andy Robinson RC and cheers for checking out the channel today and joining us for this episode. Right, uh, we have got a couple of uh, new FTX 118 scale crawlers. So, I'm here at Bolton Abbey station today. I found some undulating ground, so we're going to give them a bit of a try out. Now we've got the 118 uh, rock van here on my left and that's got the uh, portal axles and then on my right we have the FTX 6 six wheel drive, no portal axles but again you've got the six wheel drives both have got lights as well so that's always a good feature um, the rock van clipless body system, well I say clipless body system you can unclip it underneath at the rear and then the body tilts up to gain access to your electrics they've got the new or the newer fly sky uh, RC systems so that's really good as well and on there for your remotes which I'm looking at but you can't see them just at the minute you've got your steering jewel rates, steering trims, throttle jewel rates, throttle trim, uh, channel reverses and you've got some extra switches on here that um, you can adjust the um, your drag brake and things like that. So what else can I tell you? Um, I'm sure there's been a fair few videos of these out now uh, from the various brands. They're all the same vehicle, pretty much. I think the motors are 55 turn, um, is it what 80 motors or just very small little motor? I can't remember the exact name for them. If I can think on, I'll put the specifications of the vehicles in the description of this video. Oh, we've got a motorbike going across there. Um, but say, you know, if you look up um, Hobby Plus, FTX, Absima, they all do a vehicle based on this platform. They're all very similar. Now, I like FTX vehicles, so I chose to get the FTX. Ideally, I wanted the, um, the Unitrack or the Trial the uh, hunter it was called but i couldn't get one of them at the time so i picked up the rock van rock van it's got the same underpinnings and uh, the sixer if i'm right it's the same as the fms 118th atlas 6x6 uh, so it is the the same as that basically um before i forget as well massive shout out to inside line models uh, for uh, getting hold of these for me Again, uh, you need to go and check them out. Fantastic model store. The website for them is www.insidelinemodels.com. So that's www.insidelinemodels.com. Tons of RC uh, equipment, accessories, cars, uh, whatever you need, they've got it. So do check them out. I say mine uh, came from there. Again, uh, I'll put a link and their details in the video description. Right, okay, so I think what we need to do is we need to stop waffling and we need to uh, give these a bit of a drive. Now, I'm just going to move the rock van out of the way a bit so you can see. So we'll move there. If you actually you can see as well, lurking in the background is my uh, Traxxas T RX 4M. Now, the price point for the two FTXs, the rock van and the six, are about £109. 109, 119, depending where you get it from, and uh, they come 99% uh, ready to run. You just need transmitter batteries. You get small tool bag. You get your instruction manuals. 600 milliamp 7.4 uh, 2S lipos, and the batteries do last for quite a while, um, which is good. So you get good. I'd uh, say you easily get a good 30, 40 minutes uh, running time. Anyway, let's start off with the. The Sixer, now it's based on a military truck really. Um, now on initial impressions I thought it looked a bit slightly cheaper looking than the, the rock van but when you actually see this moving about I think it's rather cool actually and uh, my daughter has uh, taken to this one, she likes this um, but you can just see the axle articulation, it's ace to watch. Um, so yeah uh, it does get hung up a bit more because you haven't got the same clearance that the uh, the rock van has. So I'm going to try and do my best driving skills around here. But on this sort of ground, you can sort of 
see it. I've just gone out of shot. Sorry, there we go. What I have found is with this one, when you do get a bit stuck, you need to just give it a bit more power, really, to just get it over the uh, get it over some of the uh, the obstacles. But on the whole, it looks fantastic going around. I love it. Look at that. <laughs> Now, um, we'll have a look at the uh, the rock van in a minute. Now, the rock van for the money, uh, compared to my TX for TX four Traxxas in the background, uh, is an absolute steal, fraction of the price, and it comes with portals, which I always think the Traxxas TX four M should have done. But there you go. Ah, look at that! How cool is that? I love it. You know, and for a little 118th crawler that hasn't got portals, I think this. Sorry about the noise, we're near a main road. Um, I think it gets over objects rather well. Ah, oh, no, no, I thought I was going to get stuck then. Oh, now, and now I am stuck. Oh no, there we go. Ah, uh, no. Bad driving on my part. I am stuck. <laughs> right, that's a good time to switch over to the FTX rock van. I'm going to go and try and save my car as well that's got beached over there. So, maybe not. I'll probably end up getting them both stuck thinking about it. But this is the rock van. Now, I said this has got the portal axles, so you've got that higher ground clearance and. Uh, less likely to get stuck but uh, you know for uh, you know for the size and scale of the, the, the vehicles they really do uh, perform really well and I said price wise this is a steal compared to the Traxxas Defender so if you haven't got that sort of money to splash out on one of them I'd certainly recommend uh, the rock van Plus you, you can get a load of pop-ups as well. This is completely stock out the box. No added brass weights or anything like that where my Defender does. And I've spent a mm, ridiculous amount of money on that. But this is equally as good fun. I just need to be a slightly better driver. But the throttle modulation is really good. I hardly have to squeeze the throttle at all. Yeah, fantastic stuff. Good fun. Yeah, so again, apologies today. I haven't got my usual uh, camera woman, my wife. Um, I'm out with my dad today. So I'm having to try and do all this myself. So I hope you are enjoying the video. Um, I've had to put the camera at a fixed point. But yeah, how cool is that? I just wanted to get your video out and show you these going. But yeah fantastic stuff good fun you know I always think oh I'd rather have a one tenth crawler but you know if you get yourself a bit a small bit of room you know and you've uh, get some uneven ground you can have just as much fun it's just you can't really walk around with these but you can pack them in a bag and off you go right anyway I'm gonna bring the rock van up here so we can get another close up of it but yeah, I think that is ace, absolutely ace. So there you go, uh, that's my little run video and overview of the FTX Rock Van and FTX Sixer. So uh, yeah, look at that, how cool is it? Now, I am going to just go and attempt again to save the, uh, the other car now. And if it gets stuck, it doesn't matter because I'll, <laughs> I'll end the video. Um, oh, see failed absolutely failed <laughs> right well while I am here I've got my TRX 4 um, now this is say is heavily upgraded now I know how good this is and how capable it is. it's not got the portals but it's got all that added weight and it really does just sort of really just climb on stuff over stuff um, you know there's not much that will sort of stop it 
plus I, I am biased the fact that it's a Land Rover. It, I love it, absolutely love it. <laughs> He says he won't get stuck and then uh, gets hung up on some leaves. <laughs> but yeah. Does look cool that defender though. <laughs> yeah. But as um what I would say is if you haven't got the money to spend on one of these TRX for M's, uh, you know, that FTX, fantastic value for money, uh, and well worth getting. Anyway, um also would point out as well that hopefully soon we'll get the FMS Chevy uh, K5 Blazer on the channel as well as soon as that comes out. Right, um, I hope you enjoyed this video, cheers for checking it out, if you haven't already please consider subscribing to the channel. As I said uh, we are getting really close now to our 3000 subs subscribers, um, so yeah please do consider check here uh, and subscribe to the channel also come and find us on instagram and facebook under andy robinson rc and uh, there's lots of going on there as well there you go that's where we got stuck with the other two cars right i'm ending this one cheers for checking this out look after yourselves take care we'll see you all soon on another video see you later bye